Don't look at it, you'll go blind. Always doing something fun. So this is our newer Dennis Seamoth mulching head. Got about 500 hours on it. And uh, we've already had to replace the drum liner, the skids on it. And now we're replacing a tooth holder. My other Dennis Seamoth's got about 1,300 hours on it. Never had to replace a tooth holder. And we've hit concrete, metal, all that stuff. This one here literally like bent up and twisted. Like the metal was soft or something. But anyway. Miller Welder. Miller Welder. Miller Welder. Miller Welder. Finally get to use the uh, generator welder for the first time. Not that I wanted to, but you know, stuff happens, so gotta fix it. But anyway, so that's what we're working on today. Uh, here later today, we're actually gonna be out there where the tub grinder is. I'm getting the shade here. Uh, we'll be in the out there where the tub grinder is. We got a fix a bolt on a drive motor for the tub. It spins the tub. It uh, the bolt came out, and that's what tightens the uh, motor to pull the slack out of the chain that spins the tub. So if you don't keep up with the maintenance on this stuff, it'll it'll get worse and cost a lot more money so but anyway so that's what we're working on uh almost got the dodge truck done we got uh we got a mount belt to hold the generator welder uh got the tank in there built some little sideboards for it and uh i think it needs some rims and tires too but Everything looks good except for those rims and tires. I don't really like those. I think that's what it needs. Maybe that and some running boards or something, but. Hey Kayla, we're in the upstate of South Carolina. Our shop's in Chesney. We work all over Spartanburg, uh, Greenville, Gaffney. We do projects in Columbia, Lexington area, you name it. So give us a call, 864-764-2381. Hey, where's the old tooth holder that was bent? Do we still have it? Oh, it's down there? Yeah. I was going to show everybody how uh, twisted after it was. I'm done, uh, after I'm done welding up with this, this one's going to take go a lot of, of, lot of passes. So, like, okay. So here's the tooth holder. This is the thing you bolt the tooth to, as you can see. And they're, like, welded to the drum all the way around it. Here's, like, a... So it's like welded in there on the ring, and then it goes down around the drum. It's a lot of welding, and it's really thick too. It's gonna take several passes to, to get it filled in. He's already used, how many sticks have you used already? About five or six? Five sticks? Five, yeah, so this is six. There's a gap like this big. Yeah, it's a lot of filling. Don't look at it yet, it's not pretty. That's yeah, looking okay. It's the beginning. This new welder is uh, called a Trailblazer 302 air pack. I made a video about it uh, about a month or so ago when I bought it. I got a killer deal on it. They're about 12, well, I don't know. I've heard 12,000 to 15,000 brand new. Um, but anyway, it's because it's got like a built-in air compressor. It has a, like a battery charger, does 12 and 24 volt, which is really nice. You can jumpstart your, you know, big 24 volt stuff like your excavators, dozers, whatever. Um, 
And uh, I mean, it's got all kinds of other capabilities. It's got a lot of really fancy options on it, but I got a really good deal on it. It was a demo unit with like 100 hours, and uh, it was the Miller reps. He was taking it around, showing people, demoing it, all that good stuff. And uh, I think we picked it up for like 8,200 bucks plus tax. So now we're getting to use it for the first time. Uh, and so far, just the first like 10 minutes of it, I like it better than uh, the Lincoln that we used to have. We used to have a Lincoln arc welder generator. Uh, it's about the same size unit. I'm sure the power, the engine was probably all about the same, but um, this one here just welds a lot smoother. Um, and it runs really good too, it's really powerful. So. I like it though, it's a good machine. They're really handy too, because stuff like this happens and usually it happens on the job. And uh, when you're out in the middle of the woods, you need something uh, to fix your problem so you don't have to trailer the machine all the way back to the shop to fix it. So, but uh, that's the whole point of the service truck and that's why we're building it so we can do these things out in the field. So hopefully we'll have that done here pretty soon. So once we get freed up, but I'll show you guys the front of it. It's got the compressor, the jump start features, and charge, and then that just shows you like your oil and your hours and stuff like that. Here's all your TIG and stick settings. Wire, you can do a wire feeder welder too. I looked at buying one of those backpacks. I think they're pretty neat. That's that's crazy. It's like flashing on the screen, but it's not actually flashing. Like it's solid. Got your uh, fuel gauge here. This is where your uh, jump start feature is. I gotta get a plug for that, so we can hook that up. Got your air compressor right here. Got our weld leads in. Got a 50 amp breaker. Got your house plug. Got your stick welder. And that's if you got a wire welder. That's what we're working on today, getting that welded up. Um, and then once we finish that, um, we're gonna go out there where the tub grinder is, adjust that. We'll probably do a little bit of tub grinding today. We've been working on a top secret project out there. We haven't really announced what we're doing out there yet, but because we're trying to get a jump start on it and get everything organized out there. But um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it right now. Gotta talk to my buddy about it first. So. But anyway, uh, we're producing a lot of mulch out there, if you put it that way. Um, and uh, it might be for sale to the public. It might be going to other places for renewable power. Uh, so we might be recycling it. There's a lot of things that are going on that we're setting up right now. So haven't really talked too much about it. I can show you guys videos of what we're doing out there, grinding, because that's always fun to watch. But the details will come out soon, what we're doing out there. It'll be pretty, uh, pretty cool when we open it up. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're working on and uh, can't really start the Gaffney project. We got uh, like about 30, 24, 30 acres out there, something like that, that we're going to be doing a lot of grinding on. That's why we're also trying to get, um, trying to get this all fixed up. We've been running this mulcher with the, the bent tooth without tooth holder, without a tooth on it for a couple weeks now. And that's no bueno like that. That just causes more damage. So we had to eventually stop and get it fixed so but anyway hopefully the weather will clear up it'll dry up and uh we'll be able to get out there and get mulching on this huge like open piece of 24 acres that we're going to be working on it'll be pretty so we'll have both the skid steers out there mulching away so what's the other question here uh do i need to just call for a quote or will somebody come out quote? yeah give us a call the the number i gave you that's my cell phone number um give me a call text me an address and we'll set up a time to get out there and uh and we'll take a look at it for you we give you a quote we just charge like by the job we don't do by the hour or anything like that so that way it's just like one set price on the job so uh but yeah give us a call and uh we'll take care of you as quick as we can um but anyway guys uh so i'm gonna get back to it got a little bit more running around to do gotta go check out a couple jobs and stuff uh and then we'll be back here in a little bit working on the tough grinder so we'll show you what's going on out there thanks again for tuning in and uh see you in a minute
Let's go landclearing.com. Is it hot? Uh, really hot yes. Check the temperature with your finger. Ah! It's good. Boy, bien. It was Cinco de Mayo yesterday. No margarita, no tacos. Man, we missed out. Doo -doo -doo -doo.